Hey Salam, I hope you guys do well. Alal Shaf is back for another video and this time I'm making mutton or lamb pilau. For those who don't know pilau, pilaf or pilau is a rice dish which is made with a rich broth. It's so so delicious and so flavorful. I'm gonna show you the best way of making pilau. I'm going to serve the pilau with a very nice sauce. Without further ado, let's get started. We're gonna start by soaking the rice. These are Sela Basmari rice, we're gonna soak them for around 60 to 90 minutes. If you're using normal Basmari rice, they're gonna take around half an hour. Once you're done with soaking, just wash them three times and remove the excess starch and drain the excess water. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now before we start cooking, I just wanted to explain. This is the cup that I'm using to measure my rice. Doesn't matter which cup you use, you just need to use the same cup to measure your water as well. We're going to make a rich lamb stock. We're gonna start with an onion. So three fingers on the onion and this knuckle is going to be your guide. Going to use some of the garlic. Grab your mortar and pestle and with the garlic and ginger. Crush that into a fine paste. So for the lamb I'm using here lamb shoulder. You could also use lamb leg or any other cut of your choice. So in a pan I'm gonna add in our lamb, add in thinly sliced onions, our ginger and garlic, black pepper, garam masala. We're also gonna use this cassia bark. It has a really strong aroma. Just a touch of salt will help break down the mixture. Finish with a touch of oil, just a little touch. Now we're gonna cover this in water. For every cup of rice you need one and a half cups of water. This is roughly around 2000 ml. Give this a mix. Turn up the heat to medium and let this cook for an hour. It's been an hour, let's have a look. Alright, so just turn up the heat now. Now carefully remove the stock from the meat. Smell that. Now for our main spice mix, this is what we're gonna use. Three black cardamoms, whole black peppercorns, whole cloves, green cardamom, some bay leaves, cardamom powder, garam masala, coriander powder, cumin powder, just around one and a half teaspoon, cumin seeds, and salt. I hope the blender will get tired of me. And with the garlic, ginger, green chilies for a bit of heat. Just gonna add a bit of water so we can blend this. Let's cover this. All right, turn up the heat to medium high. We're gonna add a good touch of oil. As you know, we're using around four cups of rice. So we really need this oil. So around five big tablespoons of this. And with your thinly sliced onions. Now give that a mix. Break down those onions. Get a really nice color on those onions. You don't want it too brown, just a light brown. Just cover this for a few minutes so our onions get softer. All right, so once you have this nice light brown color, we're gonna throw in our ginger, garlic, and chili and give that a mix. Just cook the rawness of that garlic, ginger, and chili. Give it another two minutes. Now we're gonna throw in our lamb. Just cook the lamb for around five minutes. We just want to get a nice color on the lamb. I'm also gonna throw in our spices, except the cumin seeds. So let's cook our lamb and the rawness of the spices. Smells amazing, trust me. Make sure to keep mixing so nothing burns or sticks to the pan. Now add in the lamb stock. So 
so nice and rich it's gonna be amazing give that a mix and you want to bring it to simmer so it has started to simmer what are we gonna do next and he guesses we're gonna add in our rice rice that was soaked in water washed and drained just give that a mix and cook until there is some water left on the top I will show you it's best if you leave it covered so the rice has started to absorb all the water not long to go now here's a pro tip you can check the salt in this water at this point I'm just gonna add our cumin seeds on the top as you can see there is some water left at this point of time you just want to turn the heat to low add a clean kitchen cloth on the top add the lid and we're gonna let this steam up for around 13 to 15 minutes make sure it's nicely sealed for the sauce we're gonna start with some coriander mint leaves green chili touch of the salt cumin powder some water so we can blend this cover this up and blend until nice and smooth oh my god and blend until nice and smooth remove that into a bowl add in the yogurt give that a mix you want this to be nice and thick just have a little taste to make sure there's enough salt and with the onions cucumber tomatoes give that a mix I'm just gonna have a little taste Mmm. Alright, so it's nicely steaming. Let's check the rice. Remove all the covering. Bismillah. Oh man. Just look at that. Just turn off the heat at this point. Just going to fluff up those rice. Oh, look at that beauty. Careful, it's really hot. Look at those beautiful rice. Alright, so let's plate up our rice. Just look at that. Please get this video to 1000 likes, it will really help me a lot. And you can leave your suggestions in the comment below, you never know I'm gonna be making it next. Alright guys, I'm gonna try this, bismillah. Mmm, the intense flavour of lamb, mutton, wow. Let's try with a bit of the sauce. Mmm. What a beautiful sauce. It goes perfectly with this rice. Perfectly cooked. Mmm. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe, make sure you like. Inshallah, I'll see you next time. Until then, salam. Make for your mom. Make for your dad. Make for your family. Enjoy.